welcome back to this video guys and today we are going to talk about how the context bridge in electron is a very important feature so far we have created our electron app and it has a few screens using the router so things are fine but then what if our desktop application wants to interact with some of the operating system level things for example let's just say i want to get the home directory of the current user or maybe i want to understand what is the architecture of this current os because there may be certain kinds of features which i will expose based on that so to do these kind of activities electron provides us a context bridge to understand it better if you remember i had mentioned that electron has two processes one is the main process which is like running in the background doing certain things launching the you know app and other stuff and it also interacts with the os layer whereas the other process which is the renderer process is more geared towards handling the ui requirements of our application now the context bridge what it does is it allows you to very selectively expose certain apis of main process to the front end so that you can interact with it but then it doesn't expose the entire thing and it is very important to understand why to show you that first let's understand what ipc renderer is it is basically a communication methodology from a render process to the main process okay so basically what we are saying is the renderer process will be able to communicate with the main process okay but then what is the reason to do this why can't the renderer directly access everything which is in the main process now that is where i was scraping the internet and i found this answer which made sense and hence i would like you to understand that if we have a place where you know the front end is exposing certain apis of the os layer or the main process the code is vulnerable to the client opening the dev tools and modifying the function definition of window.send and window.receive the client can then start to ping your ipc main in your main.js script and then possibly do some damage because they could get around your whitelisting ipc channels in the preload what basically this means is if we have a clear path for a client to modify certain things using the dev console it can gain access to the main process and once it has access to the main process it can do a lot of things for example it may start reading the envs of your process it may reveal certain secrets that you have it may even try to delete certain files which is it is not supposed to right so that is the reason it is important to selectively expose the functionalities which the front end wants and only expose the ones which are really required okay so that's what we are going to do in this video so first of all let's open main.js and here is something which we need to add in one is a property called web preferences and in here context isolation should be set to true now this is set to true by default if i go to the documentation it was mentioned somewhere just let me see um pa, 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 pa. okay never mind it basically mentions that the context isolation is by default true so that i have but you know, still go gone ahead and done and then we will create a preload.js file which will expose certain functionalities that we want so to do that we will we have a preload function we will tell electron to load that when the app is starting okay so we will need to create this file as well why don't we do that okay 
and in here let's try and play with a few things which we have for example let's bring in the context bridge and also the os now these two things are accessible and then what i will do is say context bridge expose in main world this is how we are telling electron that the let's just say electron key is available to the renderer and inside that key we will have one function let's just say it will be os.home directory so what is happening well so far what we have done is using the context bridge we are exposing a key called electron which has a property called home directory main.js is loading this so then so far okay it is why is it not able to find this preload.js preload so the reason it is failing to load this file is that because we have context isolation true and we are loading a preload.js file right we will also need to enable node integration so node integration should be true and now it does load that thing so far we have just loaded the script but then how do we ensure that the data is available let's see let us go to our work page which is right now the only page available to us and in here what we can do is let me open up the preload.js as well so as i said there is one thing called electron which is available as a key to window if i do window dot electron you will see the home directory is available okay so if somehow i can get that value inside my react component i should be able to get those data points right now the only one problem with typescript is that it needs to understand what kind of data we are dealing with so we can't just do window dot electron you know, it will it will create a problem right so at a, right now a temporary fix is that we do something like this and we get the electron object and then we can do things like uh, where is my break and then let's just say the home directory is at dot and I'll just copy the home directory function. If I go to this route, can you see at the rate slash users Amitav Roy is the folder which is my home directory, which is correct. Maybe we will add one more arc, okay, or maybe OS version, which is something which we will get from the version and maybe the architecture which is again something which we can get from the os object so we can print all of them basically something like electron dot os no it was a r c r c h right and like so let's reload okay it is creating a problem what just happened version did i os version okay my bad refresh can you see i'm getting all these three information based on the os that i am on it is giving me the home directory it's giving me the architecture arm64 and it is also telling me the kind of operating system I am on. So this is an important concept to understand. What we basically did, a quick recap is we using the web preferences preloaded a JS file called preload.js. Why? Because we wanted certain kinds of context to be available to our from our main JS main process into the renderer okay the preload has only exposed the these three keys from the os thing i haven't 
really done something like OS equals OS, right? Because again, as I said, it can be very dangerous because if there are certain things which are available to the user, he can exploit them. So these are very simple, simple functions which I am exposing, which will allow me to use them for very specific reasons. Okay. Obviously, we will need to understand the pros and cons of every function that we are exposing. Maybe if there are certain dangerous permissions, we don't, we never expose them to the render process. For example, maybe, you know, a function which can delete a file. We may never want to do that. We will rather raise an event from the front end or the renderer and then the main should handle that rather than exposing it as a function available to the renderer. Okay. But these are static variables or rather strings which we are exposing which we can use for certain kinds of things okay so yeah this is important concept i hope you understand it if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment below and i'll try to make you understand the reasons and the importance of this and if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel